Time, the House Appropriations Committee releasing details of a bill to address the immigration crisis on the border. So this proposal calls for a total of $659 million for border security, immigration enforcement, humanitarian assistance, and illegal immigration prevention. The House could debate the bill. It could come up as soon as Thursday because they're getting out of town. But as the White House just pointed out, that doesn't leave much time to get it passed before the August time off. This administration, more than three weeks ago, put forward our own specific requests about what we felt like needed to be done. Uh, and here we are three days before Congress is prepared to leave town for the remainder of the summer, uh, and we see a preliminary proposal from House Republicans. Uh, that is not acting with a sense of urgency. Stephen Dynan is a writer for The Washington Times, and my guest in a loud. Are you in the Russell Rotunda? Yes, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, so it sounds like Congress is doing a whole bunch of stuff right now because it's really loud behind you there. But but talk, if you can, real briefly first about where we stand with what the House is going to vote on. And then I want to move on to something else. Sure. So uh, the, the House is going to vote on a bill that changes this 2008 law, this key law that uh, allows us to treat Mexican uh, illegal immigrant children one way, deporting them quickly, but doesn't allow us to do that to Central American children. So that's going to be changed in this bill. It's also going to allow Border Patrol agents to patrol, essentially, not have to worry as much about environmental regulations when they're trying to patrol the border. Those are the two big policy changes that House Republicans will attach to the money. And the money goes basically through the end of September. They don't want to give the president any more than that. They say we're only going to give him what he needs basically to get us through the end of this fiscal year and deal with the rest of it when they come back from their August vacation. Ah, interesting because the president, of course, was asking for almost $4 billion, which is yeah. significantly higher than the $659 million. All right, I want to move on to same topic about immigration, but something that was actually happening in D.C. yesterday that you witnessed. And I want to show some of these pictures. Illegal immigrants protesting outside of the White House and what happened, Stephen? Uh, absolutely nothing. They protested. They were uh, the uh, the Secret Service came and moved them off of the sidewalk in front of the White House because that's Secret Service territory. They moved them off that sidewalk into Pennsylvania Avenue, which belongs to the Park Police. The Park Police officer came, checked with them, and said, "Hey, here's how you're allowed to march. Here's not how you're allowed to march," and then let them continue to march. So you had a situation where these are folks who are self-proclaimed in the country illegally. They were protesting because they were in the country illegally. They announced this to everyone and protested like that and the, uh, the police officer said you're fine you're here just protest in this way didn't bother to check legal status and let them go about their business all right so since you were there personally I mean what's the takeaway from this is, a, is it a bit of a slap in the face to people who are here legally who've gone through the process you know, this is one of these crazy situations. The, the federal government, here's, here, the federal government has a policy. A number of these agencies, Park Police has a policy specifically, and actually where I am right now, the Capitol Police have a policy. Uh, they don't generally ask uh, those they encounter in their traffic stops whether they're in the country or any stops, whether they're in the country legally or not, which means that, you know, it's one part of the federal government that's responsible for deporting illegal immigrants, but other parts of the federal government aren't even bothering to check so that they can see whether they should turn these folks over to the other part of the federal government. You know, they, it, it's essentially sanctuary policy, sanctuary city policies within the federal government itself. You know, it, it's been going on for years and years and years. It, it, it's one of the dirty truths of the immigration debate. The yep. easiest way to make sure that you aren't deported is to come out as an illegal immigrant. Very interesting. It seems lopsided in the other direction, but I understand what you just said. Uh, Stephen Dynan, thanks so much. My pleasure.